What Austria should have is the ways to encourage the Allies Italy to support the Stresser Front, political machinations to try and crush the Austrian Nazi Party, efforts to either preserve Austrian democracy or go to dictatorship, etc. But instead it'll be a Habsburg memes. Yeah, probably. Like Hungary are. Come on, world tensions! Well, actually, once this war ends, I think that world tension goes up. And that's going to end soon. Germany's going to be on their peaceful stuff for a bit longer. Still got another two years before the war starts. Roughly. I'm actually somewhat surprised that the nationalists haven't surrendered already. They're pretty close. We've lost a lot more troops than the Republicans. Shonksi was pup putted. That's a peace deal, but it didn't affect things. Oil workers strike. The oil workers unionized in 1935 with the blessing of President Cardenas, creating the Sindico Unico de Trabajadores Petroleros. I am terrible at Latin languages, I'm sorry. They immediately began trying to negotiate higher wages and better working conditions, but were rebuffed by the powerful international oil firms like Royal Dutch Shell and Standard Oil in California. The matter passed to an arbitration committee and eventually went to the courts, with the burning question being whether the oil firms could afford the higher wages. According to recent investigations, the Mexican subsidiaries made even more profit than the oil companies in the United States, and still refused to come to an agreement with the workers. It seems they have the backing of powerful regional strongmen and see themselves as being above the law. So we can lose stability, or we can lose political power. Uh, from a purely min-max standpoint, 180 days, weekly stability. Let's see how much you get for when you do this. So in 180 days, there are 25 weeks, 25 times 0 0.5, 12 and a half. Uh, yeah, working conditions are way better than that. Outrageous! This exploitation is unethical and must end! And we have some research. I think that we would like... To get the Quetzalcoatl. Oh, that's an amazing name for a plane. Yeah, absolutely we do. Arumba time. Mm -hmm. Support loyalist decision you have is great. You can either continue. Oh, right. Decision. Yeah, okay. Support the Spanish left. Three convoys removed. We lose 250 guns. Get some experience. Yeah, send them. Hopefully, nationalist Spain lasts for another seven days. Well, tension's going down. It should be going up. It's the wrong way. Up! I can't believe I'm 1% away. Come on, people. Okay, that'll do it. Poland declared war on Latvia. No, that did not. Yes, it did. No, it did not. Damn it. Fermisian Constantam. Pope Pius XI has issued a papal encyclical addressing the Mexican situation. While the Cristada was resolved at the negotiating table and the open bloodshed has been ended, the church is still worried about the direction Mexico is heading in. The encyclical urges Mexican voters to side with the religious candidates in elections and calls for Mexican religious parties such as the Catholic Action to address social problems such as poverty to prevent more revolutionary violence. Um, it is good that the anti church violence has ended. Or superstitious propaganda. Prevent publication of this treaty. No, I still want the high stability. 100%. But now that we're getting additional st... Wait, I can do it again. 
Do it again. Um, I am really tempted to do this. Maybe in a little while, not yet. Because I still want to jump up and grab partial mobilization as soon as possible. I was really hoping that war against Latvia would give me the 1% war support I need. But it's just not done it. I think you can support Spain after the Civil War too. I think Spain just needs to be at war. Okay, cool. Welcome back, Lars, man. Yeah, no war for us, but... Republican Spain is actually winning. I can still barely believe this. Weapon ship and lost. What a waste. The seas around the Spanish coast are patrolled by ships of the Spanish loyalists and rebels and by Italian cruisers, Russian submarines, and even vessels of the League of Nations sent to enforce an, ar enforce an arms ban intended to prevent the civil war spreading across Europe. It's no wonder our recent shipments were interdicted and lost. Well, do it again anyway. Confederation of Mexican Workers. So we can now do the rent freeze, which would give us the political power and even more stability. The urban laborers are a key constituent of the new Mexico we are building. They were mobilized into red battalions during the revolution and now seek compensation they were promised. One area of immediate concern should be the parasitic landlords extracting rent from these hardworking wealth creators. Do I want to spend 25 political power? Oh, it takes 90 days. Oh, never mind. No, well, tension's probably going to go up in that. Might go up in that time. Well, this is Poland versus Latvia. And it looks like Estonia and Lithuania are in this too. Hold on, who's in your faction? Okay, so it's all of them. Wait, I thought Romania was. Oh, no, they just... They haven't actually formalized anything, but yeah. Latvia is not going to last for very long, and that's going to be another peace deal. Lost again? I don't want naval power. Latvia was puppeted. Power still hasn't gone up. By who? Poland? Yeah. Spanish Civil War is nearly over. That's got to do something. I mean, I keep trying to feed them guns. Should be having some. There we go. 25%. That's precisely what I wanted. Right. Partial mobilization. Yes. Boom. And with that, my industry should start taking off. Nope, we gained a single additional infrastructure. All right. Well, where we have the 100% infrastructure, I want to start building a bunch of civilian factories because with those, we can then start building everything else. Lost again. All right, no more. With the surrender of the last nationalist forces, the Spanish Civil War has come to an end. The Republicans have emerged victorious and a new era has begun for Spain. The war torn country has suffered greatly in the fighting and there is much rebuilding to be done. Uh, so yeah, I can't do any more with Spain. So I, I, I did it while I could. Rip Carlos Ulmanis. By the way, he attended the same university I'm going to. Oh, that's cool, CPN. Did the shipments to Spain cost me guns or anything? Yeah, 250 guns every time. And actually those were Mondragons, those are the new ones. Was I really sending them the cream of my arsenal? Yeah, or maybe not. Didn't realize they were both Mondragons. It was probably those. In which case, eh. Oh, actually, one thing I will do is I'll select 
Oh, you're already... Yeah, that's fine. I wanted to make sure that my regular infantry divisions got the best guns before the other guys did. And it seems that they do. Actually, speaking of which, are there any other support companies that we wish to add to you? No. Do I want to add support artillery to you? It adds a lot of soft attack. It does shatter your organization, though. No, I don't think so. I think over time we should be upgrading these guys to my regular soldiers. And to that end, we should probably take a look at this and say, Hey, how about you two upgrading to this? Oh, yeah, easy. Probably even do a third one. And those three will almost certainly require new training. Well, actually, let's wait until the gear arrives, then we'll start training you properly. Okay, and we can also grab the ambitious union boss. No, I don't think I want to do that. I want to grab the captain of industry. Oh, there he is. I was like, where is he? I can't see him. We only cost 75 as well. Sweet. Cheap. Cheap like a budgie. So there we go. Infrastructure and industry should be improving. We could also go for... the ambitious union boss. Because if we had Lombardo and... Korea, they would basically balance each other out. Yeah, they absolutely would, actually. And then I'd get the stability and the consumer goods reduction. It's like the best of both worlds. And because I still have the national focus from this, we're going to be continuing to gain communism. So there will be a little bit of a democracy here, but that's fine. I mean, we, we basically are a democratic socialist state. And I'm perfectly happy with being that. Not using NATO icons. I can read them thanks to Hearts of Iron 3, but I just prefer using my own, because then I can tell at more of a glance what they are. What national trees do you expect to see in the next DLC for any two nations again? I expect to see Republic of Republican Spain and Nationalist Spain. And then a rework of Soviet Union and France. Oh, science. Um, I was going to hold off on the firepower. So I think we're going to grab... Well, I also quite like support companies. I don't even have support. Port equipment. Yeah, we need that. <laughs> Crikey. It's interesting, I couldn't figure out NATO icons the first time I played with them, but now I can't play with anything else and get confused if I try to. I mean, I, I quite like them. They definitely put across their meaning. The problem that I have is very often I have divisions with different makeups. So an infantry division is an infantry division, but not necessarily with the templates I'm playing with. So having the ability to differentiate between divisions between different types of infantry, for instance, like here, would there be a difference between these two? Actually, yeah, there is a garrison icon, isn't there? So there probably would be. But even then. Oh... This is something I completely forgot to factor in. It's the fact that you get industry. Oh, what are the three others? Alright, hang on. Let's 
So I'm going to waste one in infrastructure location, I reckon. And yes, we definitely want the Aido worker militias. The land reform promised in the Constitution of 1917 has seen slow progress. Often, landlords use thugs and private armies to intimidate their tenants to prevent redistribution. Let us organize the peasants, farmers and laborers into communal militias to protect the gains we are making against injustice. Okay, good. Field Marshals did get the bonuses as well. I just had a moment of it. I was like, hang on, did they get the plus two stats as well? We'll probably get a trees for Iran in Iraq. I mean, Iraq, no, sorry, Iran could do an interesting one. Cause I thought Iran at this point was Persia. I thought Iran only appeared with the Ayatollah, which is in like the 1970s. But I could be wrong. Only Spain doesn't it feel too weak as content. No, because I'm expecting that DLC to come out with more espionage and more government stuff, which would be the real meat of it. Plus an overhaul of the Soviet Union and France, both of which would be probably fairly significant. Interesting. So I'm going to have to incite tensions in order to prevent the demobilization of my economy. We have time, so we need somebody else to rattle some sabers. Germany, looking at you. Yep, that would do it, I think. Yep, well, tensions increased by two. Oh, and Japan, looking at you too. But I'll need to keep an eye on that. I think Persia officially became Iran in the 1950s during the Mossadegh government. Either way, that's still before this. Or after this, rather. Alright, so we've got support equipment. Let's grab motorized, because I would like to have... Uh, what they called hospitals. Why are you not training? Oh, right, yeah, because I never told you to. Oh. I feel like we could probably do with more artillery than we are producing right now. Let's make that happen. It says 1953 there was a coup against the Iranian government of the Persian. But let me look closer. Cool. None of you are training, right? Yeah. And all three of you are still training, even though... <laughs> so my Air Force has been training since the beginning of the game. They have generated 0.8 experience in that time. Good going, guys. Good going. Alright, there's the Aido worker militias and the Quetzalcoatl. Party of the Revolution. So communism is currently 48%. And this is going to make Cardenas even stronger and also increases stability and war support. That's done in 70 days. This finishes in 46. Sod. Oh, hold on. That takes 90 days. So we can assassinate someone to get two war support, which would actually do what we need it to do, but that's really expensive. 
75. I do like that you can't mobilize too early now. It's actually quite a nice system. And I hope that exists for everybody. So you can't just play the percentages like I've been doing. Yeah, I actually like this system. I might be grumbling about it, but it's a happy grumble. And it is 38, so we can get computing machines. Let's do that. Um, so, how long did I have? I have got 11 days. Let's call it 12, so it can go down to 36. Which is the last possible minute that I could assassinate a Cristero traitor. Oh no, sorry, 30 days. So I can do it until 31, so we have 11 days from now. When does yours happen? 29 days from now. Oh, that's gonna be so sodding close. And the only war going on is between Japan and China, and that's not gonna change anytime soon. Three days in Germany. 22. I'm going to throw the dice. And I'm going to say that the anti turn pact is going to happen. And it's going to raise world tension highly enough. Although it's going down by 0.5 a month. But the minimum says 25%. So it shouldn't go below 25. I mean, if it's already below 25, then sure, it goes down. But then why did this go down? World tension to 4.7. No, I am definitely losing world tension right now. Uh, but I've left it too late. So we're going to have strikes regardless. Hopefully that resets things. Because if it does, then I can just incite tensions and we can secure ourselves. Well, no. I don't have a focus. Oh, shit. I should have done this. Uh, President Cardenas was elected on a platform of agrarian reform thanks to the support of the worker and peasant organizations. We have implemented the reforms now and are a proud socialist nation, ready to fight injustice on the international stage. Unfortunately, I feel like this needs to be 18%, and it won't be. I mean, at the last second, I can demobilize, which is instant. But that's basically losing 112 political... Well, yeah, it, no, it's not really. Yeah, it is. It's losing 100 and something political power. So we have effectively would have spent 160 to go backwards. Thank goodness. Thanks, Germany! <laughs> Appreciate it. <laughs> okay, we're above 25 again. Just. But I have a feeling that's going to be something we're going to be constantly struggling with until the Party of the Revolution is done. Uh, in the meantime, we can get a new political advisor. I'm... Gonna wait until we are the party of the revolution before we get the social reformer, though. So, hang on, what was the answer? 
25th of December 1934, the Persian Ministry for Foreign Affairs addressed a circular memorandum to the foreign diplomatic missions in Tehran, requesting the terms Iran and Iranian might be used in official correspondence conversations from the 21st of March instead of the words Persia and Persian, hitherto in current use. Majesty's Ministry in Tehran has been instructed to accede to this request. The decree of the Reza Shah Pahlavi affected in nomenclature duly took effect. Okay, cool. Thanks for looking that one up. How's the training coming? Training is coming along well. And we are now up to seven civilian factories. And thankfully, we're not sliding backwards in terms of war support, so it's all good. And the next one that we could get would be war economy. And we can't do that until 50% war support or we're at war. And now I know to look out for that. So just going straight up is not a good idea. Well, now we know. Now we know. Party of the Revolution. And our flag has changed. Now that is a much cooler flag than the Trotskyist one. And we are the Mexican Socialist Republic. So this is basically socialism versus totalism, I guess. Okay, so next up. I think that we probably want the military budget review so we can get the heroic military college. And the idea behind that is so that we can start getting the superior firepower doctrine 10% faster. I'd love to get the infrastructure and the research slot, but I want to get these two first. Though they are both 70 days. Yeah. Military budget review. The well-funded military of the Diaz regime crumbled when revolutionary militias began liberating cities and cutting them off from funding. Let us review the finances of the military to ensure its longevity in times of war. Oh, and this is the war industrialist. Oh, right. That was another political advisor that we did want to get. I didn't realise I could. That's you... I mean, we could eventually replace Lombardo, because we'll have the national spirit which will cancel out the social reformer, and that 15% stability is basically always going to be relevant. So I think I'd much rather grab you, and getting that extra stability is actually going to mean that we can get more um, factory output and more importantly more political power. Question is, do we want to do it now? Oh, and you're only 75. Yeah, you're cheap. And you do make the conscription laws cheaper. And that's a price which never comes down. I do really wish that the mobilization was a increasing cost in the same way that... Um, sorry, the economy laws were increasing costs like mobilization laws. Conscription laws. That's what they're called. These are mobilization laws slash economic laws. These aren't. Well, I have to say, the political side of Mexico is a lot more interesting than basically any of the other countries we've played as so far. There's a lot more interesting choices to make. Are we democratic communists? Yes, basically. We're basically Scandinavian socialists. That's the way I would see it. 